James Sabalski for EA Sports. Rosters are ready. Everyone set to drop the puck on this EA SHL club matchup. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Puck is dropped and we are underway. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Oh, a lights out hit in the open ice. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Quick pass to Rally. Connecticut's looking to break out. Takes it and looks ahead. Connecticut's got a hold of it along the wall. Cappy's got it along the wing. Here's a chance. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Cappy's 1T zone ability is that coveted one-timer shot, guys. His teammates just love setting him up for that big blast. Connecticut's got the puck against the wall. Takes the puck. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Poked away in the offensive zone by Luck. Sellers takes the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Play is called for offside. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Connecticut's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Cappy's got the puck. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. This what a doorstep. The rebound there to be had, and they made no mistake about tucking that one home. The Beast have to be breathing a little easier now as they get on the board first here in this one. That's amazing how mindset can change when you get up by a goal in what's been considered a pretty scrappy back-and-forth game. Turn that one aside. Well, the goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across the crease. He makes the save. He tries to tuck it in. Rallies lugging the puck. Receives the pass. Pokes it away in his own end. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Connecticut's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Hogue. Connecticut's got a hold of the puck. And now it's over to Luck. Oh, he'll feel that one. Here he is, takes the shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Takes the hit, but still hangs on to the puck. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Takes the feed. Centering pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Dangles, that save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out battle, when you out will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. No change in the score as that goal was waved off, and we are ready to drop the puck again. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff at center. And that's knocked away by Hogue. 
and he takes the feed. He's got a step. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke, and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Oh, oh he targeted his opponent and delivers a perfect hip check. Hope's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed and center oh. moves up ahead. Sorry for stepping on your toes, Jack. Continue the momentum. But it looks like the goaltender is tracking the puck really well. His movement is agile, but he just can't keep up to that quick release shot on the inside of the post. Connecticut's in control of this one so far, Cheryl, wouldn't you say, with a two-goal lead? Absolutely, James. And often you don't see this urgency until the end of the game, but they started with it, and as a result, they've got a two-goal lead. Shot! Gets a piece of a double play on. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Skates across the blue line. And he's knocked off the puck there. And here's the pass to Goodrow. Smart defensive play there. Centering feed. Another pass. Misses the net. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Cappy. To his teammate. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Nice save off the tender's pad. People excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath back with more of them. this game through the first 20 minutes played. Connecticut's got to find a way to push and continue to press like they did in the first 20 minutes, James. I mean, that was impressive. They executed on their possession and found ways to attack the net. They've got a two-goal lead, but sometimes it's tough to replicate a first period when you're... He scores! Aye, aye, captain! You get these great A scoring chances nice and tight to the net. You got to find a way to convert on it, but you have to be aware of where the goaltender is. You don't have much time. You have to have quick hands, but you have to find the back of the net when there's not much room. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Nice poke check. And he takes the pass. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Connecticut's gained possession along the boards. Intercepted at center by Goodrow. Connecticut's looking to break out of their own end. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. Musa quickly over to Wilson. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Picking up some steam at center ice. And look at the hustle here as they wave off the icing, Cheryl. Well, intangible, that is the word this coach is looking for. The aggressive ability to get on that puck and negate icing. And he makes the save. 
He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning. And for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible, and everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Connecticut's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. And they win that neutral zone draw. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Oh, what a hit. He got all of that hip check. There's the whistle. We got an offside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Pittsburgh's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Taken by Sellis. And it's a quick pass to Wilson. And that's just out of reach. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. The Beast have taken over in the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. And we'll reset things after that icing. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Flips it up to that. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Battling for it along the boards. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Sellis. Pittsburgh's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to tape away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. And it picks off a stick in traffic. Oh, and a great heads-up play to force the turnover by Sellis. And a great read to turn that play aside. More than half the period has expired. It's 2-1. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Rally's got it in the defensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Cappy's going to play it against the half wall. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Connecticut's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. And a solid job tying up his opponent. In all alone! Oh, great hustle to break up the breakaway! That's exactly why you have to have urgency on the back check, James, but when you have that puck on your stick, you have to have the situational awareness and know what's around you. That takeaway is huge. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. I mean, this is exactly where he wants the puck. You leave him open for a moment, and his teammates are going to find him. That's what happens here, and he executes like he always does. Well, he's known for his one-timer, and everyone on the ice should know that when he gets a look at it and he's set up, he's going to wire it home, and he does just that. And they win that drop center. And that's knocked away. Takes it into the slot. Goaltender gave him nothing as it goes off the side of the net. Bears were too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Sellis. Some great thievery in the open ice. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Lima Hockey is all about finishing your check, but that was almost predatory as he came from a distance to finish that check. Way too hard, didn't buy in. It's a call all day long. I love the one free one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes.
Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Off the draw, they take possession. Slides the puck across to Chips. The Beast have taken possession in their own end. Moves into the slot. Kicks someone away to keep it from going in. Puck is frozen and will get a face-off. Getting into the later stages of this period. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Connecticut's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denies him. He got all of it. Denies him again. This is a great save by the goaltender of James, but you have to be aware of who is on the ice and what their tendencies are. You know when you have a lethal shooter that can one-time the puck like that, you got to be aware. With possession along the wall. Sellers is now standing ready to get back on the ice. Perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. We've got icing on the play. Face off coming up. Connecticut's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The pressure's on the defensive side of the puck, but they win it clean, and they have an opportunity right away with the tired group that they're playing against. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. While, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store. And we've got the third period coming up in moments. And this one's underway here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Pittsburgh's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. they got to do something when they get the puck, and they got to be confident with it. Connecticut's have been on a roll offensively tonight, and they lead it here early in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Sends the pass down low. Takes that pass back at the point. Off the post! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after all that chaos. Well, and this is a much-needed reset for his team after some sustained ozone pressure by the opponent. Sells helps his team out defensively with great stick checking in the D zone, guys. That's his stick em up zone ability, and it can really frustrate attackers. And that goes off a body. Big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, go technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. That's a great save as he drops into the butterfly. You want to make sure that you take away the top of the net, but you know you got the lower net covered, and the agility to be able to move across the crease is an example right there. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Connecticut's got a 3-1 lead. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Connecticut's got control of it now from their own end. Stretch pass. Fast and quick lead pass. Easily kicked away by the goalie. The Beast have possession along the boards. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Puck picked up by Goodrow. On the attack and on the boards. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. The Feast have been penalized for slashing. Dangle's never out when he's down, guys. His butterfly effect zone ability means he can glide while down in that position and remain mobile to cover the net. Scoops up the puck. And he takes the feed. Steps in with the block. From the neutral zone now. Moves the puck along the half wall. Back in with intention. Lux moving the puck through his own zone. A chance to get it out. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Wow, and you're on the PK unit. You have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the... Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Penalty coming up here. I could almost predict this charging call before it happened, James, because he came from a long way to make that hit. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Connecticut's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. Moves it to Sellis. We got a whistle offside the call. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Connecticut's won it. And he slides it quickly to Luck. Slides it out in front. And that's stopped. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Dangle's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Wilson side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Offense his own faceoff and he wins the draw. Scores! Coming up clutch shorthanded. Wow! Well, you gotta love the aggressive nature of this PK unit. They jumped, they attacked, and when they got the puck, they found a way to cash in and convert on the opportunity. Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Centering key, and it turns off a twig in front of the net. From the point, looks to make something happen. Connecticut's got the puck in the defensive end. Cappy's got it against the boards. And the defenders come up with the puck. Pittsburgh's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Pass it up ahead. Angles it over to Cappy. And that's a smart heads-up play by Wilson. Cuts into the paint, and the puck banks off the glove. Rally's got it now deep inside his own end. And he slides it quickly to Luck. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Cappy's been leading the way offensively, James, and everyone's kind of looking to him. He has three points in the game, and the puck's been like magic on his stick. Quick feed down low. Cappy's going to play the puck behind the cage. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Knocked away. Just goes off the post and out. That's an unlucky bounce. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. And they win the draw here in their own end. To the low slot! How did he stop that one? Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Takes the puck behind the net. 
Connecticut's number one line has been dominant tonight, James. They've been in the offensive zone. They've created a ton of opportunities, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. Just when the coach is likely thinking about pulling the goalie because you're down by one, you take a penalty. Tough call. Connecticut special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. A successful power play, although it has been that tonight, it has to perform at the right times, and this is one right now, a critical moment to continue to execute. Connecticut's got possession of the puck. Rally's got the puck in his own zone. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Sellis. Takes it to the front, and he makes the save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cappy. Fires it! Oh, what a stop on the play! Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Thunderous hit check on the play. Rocks him. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Slip feed. Big save just as time runs out. Connecticut's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. Cheryl, I got the final numbers here in front of me, and I'm just looking at time of possession. It really stands out. Yeah, I mean, when you have the puck on your stick, it means your opponent's chasing the game. It also means that they have longer shifts. You're wearing them down because they're chasing you, and I think that was the effectiveness with that puck on their stick that really made the difference in the game.
Welcome back to the EASHL. Well, the challenge has been laid and it's been accepted. Time to find out who gets chirping rights in this one. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Been fired up for this one. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Here's a shot. And that carries off a body in the lane. And here at center, that's intercepted. Moves around along the half wall. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. He is so difficult to beat when he drops into that butterfly positioning and gets squared to the puck, keeping his arms tight to his body. Man, it is tough to find the back of the net. Intercepts the pass! From the open ice, they gain the line. Back to the point it goes. Reaches out with the trapper and just gets enough of it to keep it out of the net. And sends it off course. Coach is just loving these types of shifts. A lot of pressure and effort in this one. Madison's got a hold of it against the wall. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Dangle's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. And that's taken by the defense. And sends it just out of reach. Madison's got the puck behind the net. Feeds it down low. A centery chance! Off the stick and they can't complete the play. And that one's picked off. Comes up with a big stop. Quick shot. Oh, and another save. The goaltender anticipated that one perfectly. Why? Because they knew it was coming. Everything is worked through this one-time position, knowing how lethal it can be. Got all of it. He just didn't put it in the net. From a tough angle. And he shut the door on that last play. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still no score in this one. Puck grab by Cloppy. Quick feed down low. Slides the puck down low. The Ice Badgers have it against the wall. Works it across to Luck. Reads the pass perfectly and takes it off. Madison's got it in their own zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. When your opponent doesn't have the puck, you can't interfere with their forward progress too much. You can cheat a little bit, James, but that's over the top. The Ice Badgers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Puts it in deep. And he denied him there. Madison's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick shot. Makes the save with the glove. The ice badgers looking against the half wall. That's some smart hands up defensive play by Ho. Madison's got a hold of the puck now. Along the half wall with the puck. Grabbed along the board by Muck. From a tight angle, throws it on net. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Here's a shot. Flop and side save. Madison's got the puck along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. And called for the offside. We'll get a face-off. Yeah, 
Here in the late going of the frame, the game is still scoreless. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Connecticut's got the puck along the wall. And that one's turned away. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Connecticut's won the draw. The Beast have the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. That's a beautiful pass saved by the goalie there. Madison's grabbed a hold of the puck. Handles the pass at center. Scores! And look who's all smiles on the ice. His first with his new team. Anytime you come to a new team, you want to have impact and feel like you're contributing right away, James. Well, he does exactly that. He came here for offense. He delivered. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Madison's looking to break out of their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Dumps it in, and he maintains possession of the puck here. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. And that's hooked away. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Connecticut's won the faceoff. Oh, loses a shot! He was totally locked in on that play. Can't get it to go. Here's a blast! Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. Well, that quick glove hand looks like a windmill, James. I think that was meant for the highlight reel. Unfortunately, you got to catch the puck if you want to make it there. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will, too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. to be played in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Takes the feed. Look out, here they come on the attack. And he takes the dish. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's tipped away by Cloppy. Picks up the puck in his own end. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Hammers the shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Muck's really laboring out there. Looks like he's going to make it to the bench, but he's struggling to finish this shift. And now he tries to get it across to Hoaglander. 
And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Cloppy. Handles the pass. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Centering feed. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Cappy's got it in the offensive zone. Connecticut's playing it from the side. Quick feed to Cappy. Slides the puck over. The Beast have taken possession along the wall. Scoops up the puck here. Connecticut's going to play it from the corner. Doesn't go. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Denies him in close. He's got a gift to read and anticipate the play, and when he drops into that butterfly position, not only is he as big as possible and covers the top half, but he's agile enough to slide across to cover the lower half. The Ice Badgers have the puck now. Into the offensive zone. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Looks to set up at the point now. There's the whistle, let's see what the referee saw. Cappy's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. The Ice Badgers once again send out their power play unit. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Quick pass to Cloppy. Great chance and an even better save. Madison's got the puck along the boards. Oh, misses the net. What a chance that would have been. Oh, he wants that one back, and he tried to get all of it. And guess what suffered? Accuracy. Trying to clear. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Gets a piece of it to make the save. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. The Ice Badgers' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Intercepted. The Beast have gained possession off the wall. Here's a short pass to Luck. Madison's got control of it now from their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Connecticut's looking to break out. Now a quick pass to Cappy. Connecticut's on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Rally. Here's a sharp angle shot. Big stop by the keeper. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's all tied up. Madison's got a hold of the puck. The Ice Badgers move to the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, look like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And nearing the final minute of the second. And with the delay penalty called, they get the extra attacker out here on the ice. Here comes the call. Lux called for tripping. He's off to the box. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success. They scored. But there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy. Oh, what a save! He stopped it. Wow! Well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Connecticut's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's the puck. And that's off a stick. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next.
one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. Connecticut's won the opening face-off, and their power play continues. Quick pass across to Luck. Takes control of the puck. He'll need more than that to beat him. Hammers a shot. There's another stop. Well, the goaltender makes an athletic save on that one-timer. I mean, we all knew it was coming. That's right in his wheelhouse. It's a signature he just couldn't execute. Connecticut's got him along the wall. Oh, they're really driving pressure in the ozone, dictating the pace. Now they've got to find a way to funnel it to the net. Madison's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Connecticut's gained possession along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. Connecticut's got it behind the net. A feed out front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. The Ice Badgers played along the wing. That's blocked. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Madison's got the puck. The Ice Badgers will play it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Luck. Reaches out and uses the stick. Rocked him in the open ice. Connecticut's got possession of the puck. Cappy's got it along the wing. Madison's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And that's blocked away. Great reach by Luck. Picks up the puck. The Ice Badgers have it now. Takes the pass. Here they come on the attack. And a huge stop by the goaltender. It's in the back of the net, but it's not going to count as the whistle goes before the puck went in. Nearing the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Connecticut's going to start with the puck in their own end. And now he passes up to Cappy. Madison's got possession at center. Feeds the puck to Hoaglander. Here's a rocket of a shot. Made the stop on the play. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. And they'll start with possession. Tries to get the puck over to Cappy. Connecticut's got the puck in the corner. Uh-uh! Nice block. Connecticut's got the puck against the boards. Holmes got the puck and he's walking the blue line. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Barker's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Well past the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. Nice job tying up his opponent. Clappy's taking it from his own end. Muck's got the puck. And there's the save. Even though goaltenders get set in their butterfly positioning, they still have to be agile and be able to move across their crease. Right there, that's evidence of it and with that beautiful save. Here's a blast! Oh, and we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Madison's taken a one-goal lead here in period number three. Well, yeah, and it's a critical time here, James. They've got the go-ahead goal now, and some of the teams will say, play safe. Not me. I'm about having the puck. Stay aggressive. Stay on your toes. Make them play on their heels. Connecticut's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Madison's got the puck against the half wall. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And the goaltender gets to the bench. They've got the extra attacker out. 
takes the feed at the point. Oh, and the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. It's been a low-scoring affair, James, but it's been entertaining on both sides, just unable to finish. And as an athlete, this can be very frustrating. You're squeezing the stick tighter and tighter with every miss. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Capri's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Drops the hammer. Slides it quickly to Holtlander. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. While using the advantage of having extra ice available to them, James, that's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. In the final moments of this period, the Ice Badgers now lead by two. Grabs the puck at center. Play whistle dead offside the call. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. The Ice Badgers take it from the side. Oh, that's how you do it. She drops the hit check. And, oh, wow. And they get that puck down the ice. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Luck's going to play it against the half wall. Gets down low and blocks it. Madison's got a hold of the puck. Another hit. He will feel this one by the end of the night. Ah, uh, tough night. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Well, the challenge was issued, the challenge was accepted. A uh, fun game that went back and forth for a while in this one, but, you know, unfortunately, they just didn't have enough tonight. Yeah, they didn't have enough. They weren't really in control of the game. Yeah, you can have a lot of fun in these ones, but when you don't win, you don't feel too good. so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight from all of us here at ea sports i'm james sabalski see ya
Welcome back, everyone. Well, bragging rights up for grabs here. The challenge has been laid. Let's get it on. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. And after a full day of waiting, we are officially underway here tonight. Dumped into the cross side. Oh, and he throws a perfectly executed hip check there. Here's a shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Quick. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Handles the puck. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. Wolf taking the puck now here inside his own territory. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. Oh, that's blocked and kept in at the line. Uh, it's amazing when there's so much ice available and you hit the player square in the shins. You got to find a way to get that one out. 50, 50. Loves the teammate where if you see him calling for the puck, you've got to get it to him. His 1T zone ability... Allows him to one time that puck and put everything he's got behind those shots. Let's see if he can get one. And it's a quick pass to Ward. Connecticut's got the puck. Holmes got it in the defensive end. Nice speed of center moves up ahead now. Sends it to the middle. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Takes it to the net! Spectacular open ice hit! Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Rally stick handling in his own zone. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Mavericks are going to serve two for tripping here. Cap, he's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability, and it can really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. Connecticut's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Denies it, but the save. Close, lugging the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Scores! And look at that! They take the lead shorthanded! Now they were so urgent on that PK, and they recognize an opportunity to attack. I mean, this is an added bonus, James, that can certainly turn the temperature of the game. What a finish. The Mavericks are first to light the lamp tonight, and let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back-and-forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Farmers recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win that neutral zone draw. Unable to reach that one. The Mavericks will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Scores! Wow, a huge goal here, Cheryl. For another shorthanded goal, James. I mean, the opponent is looking nervous with the puck on that power play, and they recognize it, and they attack, and they're rewarded for their efforts. Farmers won the draw at center. And now it's grabbed by Ronaldo. With possession along the wall. Scores! And three!
And I think there's going to have to be an extra stoppage in play here as they collect all of the hats on the ice at home. Farmer's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Connecticut's got it in their own zone. Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal in that power play. And he turns that one aside. Quick styled in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge score! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here! Well, it's the magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it, and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. Ottawa's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. There's an injection of energy with that hit. The Mavericks carried along the wall. Moves it to Farmer. Takes control of the puck. Oh, and a great heads-up play to force the turnover by Goldowski. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Here in the back half of this period, Connecticut still down by two goals in this one. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Mavericks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Here's a change. Connecticut's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Ozone face-off, James. Critical time to gain possession with that clean win, and with a tired group, they get that puck moving around and a real opportunity on net. Here's a shot, and he stags that one with the club. Connecticut's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to... He scores! Oh, oh, that's how you do it! Well, he's in close quarters, James. That's what he's known for. He gets that puck on his stick. His head is up and he buries it in the back of the net. Getting into the later stages of this period. Ottawa's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. Puck picked up in the open ice. And loses possession after a solid hit. Picked up along the boards by Kloof. Takes the bank pass feed. Cuts to the point. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Ottawa's looking to break out of their own end. Connecticut's got possession here in the offensive zone. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Kloof's moving the puck through his own zone. Rocks him on the play. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Oh, some fans thought that was in, but that went off the side of the net. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't go as it's off the stick. one to lead the comeback here. He's the captain of this team with an offensive zone face-off. No better way to create some momentum than get one on the board. Shot! Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next.
Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. A one-sided affair thus far. Let's see if anything changes here with the start of the second. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Ronaldo. Cannon of a shot. Great save. Lots of time left in this period. A lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4 1 the score. And that's picked up by Goldelski. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Man, is he ever known for this? When he drops into that butterfly positioning, he makes himself as big as puck. Here we go, two on one. Absolutely seamless. The Beast have dug themselves such a deep hole, but at least they have something to build on now, Cheryl. Yeah, they're clawing their way out of that hole, James, bit by bit, and it's going to be shift by shift, and it's going to be the next player up that's going to have to create energy and to start by being hard on the puck. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Luck. The Mavericks going to work on offense. Taken by Ronaldo. Ottawa's got the puck against the boards. Into the corner of the attacking area. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Broken up at center by Kloof. Executed hip check there. Picked up along the wall by Hogue. And that's knocked away. The Mavericks gain control of the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Caffey's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Oh, and he delivers a thunderous hit check. Quick feed to Luck. And makes the save. Oh, there's one more. Receives the pass. And he connects with the long bomb. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Quick pass to Ward. Oh, what a stick save. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Back at the point, they set it up. They are swarming around like bees here in the O-Zone. The Mavericks look to start the transition game. Quick pass over to Ward. Takes the feed. Farmer's had a great game offensively, James. He's been all over the ice, really buzzing around. A reason why he's got three points. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Grabbed along the board by Kloof. Big time stop. Oh, how did he miss that one? I'm not sure, James. This could have been the insurance marker. He gets the position. He loves when he's shooting from short range. He just misses the net. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. There's the save. Back to back stops. Knocked in here. On the outside to Kloof. Here's a shot. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Puck picked up by Goldowski. Way too much congestion blocks that. Ottawa 
probably thinking right now, let's just skip the intermission and keep playing the way things are going here, Cheryl. 100%, James. Anytime you have a healthy lead, everyone's playing well and contributing. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to go and sit and wait to come back on the ice. On the attack along the boards. The Mavericks have it against the wall. And he takes the feed. Pass back to the point. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down. And there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. They've dropped the puck here in the third and it's going to blow out thus far. Let's see if there's any sort of response. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Connecticut's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent is... with that one. He does the work to get to that position on the breakaway, James. And then the pressure is on. You know you don't get these opportunities all the time. A golden one it is, and he cashes in. Ottawa's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Connecticut's got the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Stick work with the steal. Ottawa's got the puck in the defensive end. Into the corner, he takes the pass. And he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. He scores! And he's not done yet! Whoa! No, I mean, how many more are going to come now, James? The floodgates have opened. Well, they opened a long time ago, but that puck is following him around, and every chance he gets, he's bearing it. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Here's a short pass to Cappy. Rallies, came the line, and on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And he coughs it up with the pass. Quick feed to Kloof. Here's a shot, and that carries off a body in traffic. Takes a shot. Ronaldo's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Oh, there's some body contact. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. And they win the draw here in their own end. On their heels, trying to clear. Gets it out of his own end. Ronaldo stick breaks, and he's logs it back to the bench and gets a new one. Now he gets back into play quickly. Moves a pass in front, and that goes off someone in front. Moves the puck along the half wall. Connecticut's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Ottawa's got a hold of the puck now. Drives it to the crease. Here he is with the backhander. Denied that one. 
Dangles really struggled tonight, and the team in front of them as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Farmer's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Ottawa's won the faceoff. Puck exits the zone. From the right side and up the middle. Farmer's been having himself a time out there tonight. I mean, he's dancing, he's found the puck, and he's moving it. The reason why he's got four points, and also a reason why his team's throwing their opponent out of the water right now. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. And he had the answer on that play. Ottawa's got control of it now from their own end. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Sends a pass over. And there it is. Stopped by Quick. There's another stop. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. The Mavericks have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Into the corner now. Picked up along the boards by Kloof. Tries to feed it over to Rally. Huge steal in his own end. Pokes the puck away. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. The Mavericks have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Farmer's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. approach as he's on the road he just says yeah just bring it i mean gets a hattie to boot the beast have to keep pushing here cheryl it, that, it's just got to be as elementary as that right it has to be and they have to make pop plays really push the pace push the puck forward not go east west not delay and go back it's all about attack right now take it along the wall by Kloof. and that's blocked as he gets down low and he easily stops that one Ottawa's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Ottawa's ready to go on the attack. very often, James. You gotta appreciate him when you get him and continue to have the stats. Ottawa's performance tonight still showing no signs of let-up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let-up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. And they win that draw at center. Farmer's got it against the boards. Oh, so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at his finest. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James. Fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. From one point man to another. Oh, he gets in front of that to make a great save. Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Ottawa's got the puck along the wall. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Inside of the final minute here in the third. The Beast have the puck shorthanded. Nice job to escape the zone. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. Penalty coming up. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. Scooped up along the wall by Kloof. 
Grabs it at his own end. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different, though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looks comfortable. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time but just what your offensive players are not. So you can generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. Cheryl, these are one of those games where it's fist bumps and high fives for everybody, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. When it's working, it's working, James. And this was a full 60 minutes, and the coach is certainly going to be happy. I, I'm not sure if they're going to have to have any video after this one. hockey comes to an end but guess what everybody there's always next time and we will see you then for cheryl pounder i'm james sabalski thanks for playing